Hey guys, welcome back to a new video. If you're new here, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe, and turn on your post notifications so that you know every time I upload a new video. I am so excited because last week I got vaccinated. In New York City, the eligibility for vaccines for people ages 16 and up was April 6th. And so I got my vaccine right on April 6th because I was so eager and excited to get vaccinated. I just really feel so grateful to the wonders of modern medicine and to the scientists who developed this vaccine. It's just incredible what humans can do. I got the Johnson & Johnson vaccine, which is a one dose vaccine. And I got it at the Javits Center in New York City. I believe the eligibility is open as of now in most states for people 16 and up so you should go online and sign up for a vaccine appointment ASAP. As soon as I posted on Instagram that I got vaccinated, I got so many DMs from you guys asking about the side effects. And so I just wanted to give you a little quick update on what the side effects of the vaccine were like for me. The evening of the day I got the vaccine, I felt really bad flu-like symptoms. Day two, I felt mostly just tired. And day three, I was back to myself 100%. I just wanted to share my personal experience because I think that for a lot of people it can be really reassuring to know that you're not alone in feeling these different side effects and also I think it's really great to know in advance before you get your vaccine that you might feel potentially pretty run down and so don't plan anything if you can for the night that you get vaccinated or the next day just to kind of recover the faster that we're all vaccinated the faster we can stop the spread and stop the spread of these very and hopefully put an end to this pandemic. When I posted my Instagram post that I got vaccinated, I actually had to turn the comments off because the comments were so crazy. People were spreading these horrible lies about the vaccine in the comments, these crazy conspiracy theories that just aren't true. And I turned the comments off because I didn't want young impressionable people to be seeing these lies and be deterred from getting vaccinated. I don't know why the public health issue of getting vaccinated has become political, but for some reason it has. And I really hope that we can stop that because it's really divisive when all getting vaccinated vaccinated is, is a public health issue. And public health is a universal issue that everyone, regardless of what political party you are, should care about. We have to put political parties aside and unite together to stop this virus. And the most critical part of doing that is to make sure everyone gets vaccinated. I will put lots more information about getting vaccinated in the description box below, as well as some myth busters, because I know that there's a lot of lies out there concerning the vaccine and if you have any questions check out the link down below and make sure that you're getting all of the correct information and if you have any questions about my vaccine experience please leave them down below in the comments i just want this to be a space where we can all be educated and share our experience and reassure people to get vaccinated thank you guys so much for listening i know that this isn't the most fun topic but i do think it's a really important one to talk about now let's get into today's vlog <music> Happy Easter! Happy, Happy Easter! Easter! Sue made us little Easter goodie bags. How cute is that? We're gonna do an Easter egg hunt. Whoever, whoever has the most eggs, uh, uh, eats everyone's food. <laughs> everyone's uh, rubbish. No. Oh, no, no, no. <laughs> I'm not an animal. Well, the person who comes in last place doesn't get to eat. What? <laughs> Whoever comes in last pays for all the food. Oh, that's pretty good. The egg hunting has started. There's 68 eggs. Oh, in the coffee machine. I know. <laughs> I was like seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, eight. I looked. I found one. So seven more. There's seven more. How? How? You absolutely destroyed this. Place. I went through the entire dishwasher. Maybe Water. look at places that you've already looked because it might be hiding in places you've already looked. 
Uh, how are you feeling? Feeling like a winner. And uh, do you have the most? Mostly, eggs? I just want to beat her. I, I, I don't really care about anything else. Um, G, G, how are you? How are you? How are you feeling about this competition? I'm feeling really oh. good. My strategy. Oh. <laughs> you need a, you need a. Ah. All right, Gianni, what's your, what's your oh my strategy? God, guys, guys, there's one inside the microphone. Oh my gosh. Good job, Gianni. What's your strategy? So my strategy is just take my time, be attentive to what's going on, and. <laughs> Don't rush and overlook things. Yes, so far, that's good. Be so thorough. Far, second, but I really want to beat Sicily. All right. So well, I won't distract you. I believe. I believe in you. Sicily, how are you feeling? I'm so oh, guys, guys, I looked in there three times. I looked in there so many times. Okay, that that would that would hurt. That would hurt. I don't remember where I put them. Oh my God! I found a chicken inside of a monopoly thing. What the hell? Cut it open. Okay, guys. Good work. Five, seven. Hi. Right. <laughs> oh my god. The cameras are stuffed. They're so full. I just want to get those food. Happy Easter, everyone! Hey guys. Hey guys. Me and Barrett are gonna go on a little walk around the neighborhood on this Easter afternoon because it's really nice out today. This is what I'm wearing for my little walk. I had to stay comfy with the shoes. Everything else is a Nina Bang bag, sweater, skirt. Barrett, what are you wearing? Corduroy. Corduroy. Rip <laughs> shirt. Can I five? Can I Most important part. Would you stay till the morning light? Or would you follow me? Or would you let it be? If I leave tonight, we could do this right. We'll find the remedy. Or would you stay with me now till the morning light? Before you turn away, I just want you to know that I didn't throw your stuff away. Before you make up your mind that I'm nowhere to find I'm standing right here I know that I told you we're over I swear that I'm sober Just listen, I miss you And I'm Homemade sushi night Cicely's teaching Barrett how to make sushi Oh, this one's a little stickier, yeah. So you're gonna put this down so the rough side's up. How do you feel about your first time making sushi? Yeah. Kind of nervous. <laughs> and you're gonna kind of like smush it down Watch. a little bit with your spoon if you can. Smush it down. Or else oh, okay. it's like really a sticky stick. Sushi rice is like particularly sticky. Hi. Don't want it like too thick or else it gets a little difficult, you know? Yeah, yeah that's probably something that's probably fine. Why in the center? You're gonna kind of like hold it because you want it to stay in. You don't want it to fall down. And then you're gonna do one roll. See how I just did one roll? Yeah. So it's like, it's all in there. Mm -hmm. And then you like squeeze it and bring it back. Okay. So it stays in. Then you pull it back. And then, actually, and then oh you do like God. that. Squeeze wow. it, bring it back. This, it's like a hand roll. Squeeze it. And then see there, oopsie, where we put nothing. Some aqua, aqua fresca. Okay. <laughs> it down. Like a letter seals it. Then you kind of want to like squeeze it some more. Yes. Whoa! Whoa! Wow. This is Gianni's roll. Here's Zoo's roll. Ooh. Here's Sicily's roll. What'd you put in there? Um, salmon and cucumber. This is Barrett's roll. What's in there, Barrett? Uh, you'll never know. 